Fasahi joins us on What's Next, the executive for business solutions at Tracker South Africa. Quibus, it's really great to uh, see you virtually. Um, I hope that you're well. And, you know, Tracker is one of those companies when I think of, um, you know, telemetrics and I think of the pioneers in the industry. Um, you know, my career goes back a long way doing traffic. And I even remember we had some of your tracking technology that we worked together with the police to track vehicles. Um, and that's how far my association goes back with Tracker. So you guys have certainly been in the world of technology for a long time and uh, and really changing a lot of things when it comes to technology. And uh, Tracker has really been focusing on some very interesting technological advancements to support businesses, particularly fleets. Um, so my question is, uh, from the days that I used to be involved with you guys uh, and helping out, why the move from purely vehicle tracking? Thanks, Oki. Okay. Yeah, basically, over the years, obviously, we came to the realization that as technology is leapfrogging, obviously, we need to um, stay in, in the loop and ensure that uh, we offer the best solutions to our customers. So it was a natural involvement to actually look further than just SVR or stolen vehicle recovery and actually start offering solution-based services to our uh, corporate type uh, clientele. So therefore, it, it makes a lot of sense to focus, refocus uh, on fleet side where we can add a lot of additional value, which uh, goes beyond just telematics. Okay, well, that makes sense. And of course, I mean, you've got the technology, you've got the telematics, you've been enhancing it all these years. And certainly, um, I imagine you've seen such massive changes uh, when you look at how AI and machine learning has changed and you, you've enhanced and embraced AI and machine learning. Uh, can you tell us more about the journey and um, and you know the, that you're following and that you followed and how have you got to this point? Because I imagine Tracker as a business, uh, as uh, you must be over 20 years old, if my memory serves me co co correct, to where we are today. When you've got AI and machine learning, it's uh, it's a different game today, isn't it? Yes, uh, over the years, I mean, Tracker. Uh, gathers a massive load of data. Now, uh, sometimes we, we refer to you have a data rich environment, but you uh, information poor. So the only way to actually get better in your information side is obviously to um, start looking at different technologies to obviously enhance your data. Um, and therefore, as the years progressed, obviously machine learning uh, to the field, artificial intelligence, deep learning um, started uh, happening in, in our industry as well, where we have this massive amount of data where we can actually train our neural networks to obviously um, look at this historic data and actually start doing predictions of what's going to happen in various uh, areas. Uh, one of the biggest use cases probably is that this um, um, uh, traffic predictions where we create the heat maps, um, also, hijacking hotspots, which you nowadays see along the road, most of those are actually done with machine learning or deep learning engines that actually predict where, where, where these um, hotspots are, given historically what happened. And then obviously it, it helps us to enhance our product even further, where we can see how our, our products perform and um, it highlights then critical issues, which we then immediately can uh, attend to and fix. Yeah, you know, the data is interesting. I mean, I was going to ask you, what are you doing with all of that data? Um, and, you know, you mentioned traffic and you pick up you pick up patterns, right? And, uh, and, and you put it through algorithms and then you get some really, really valuable information. So all of this data, how, how is this adding value? value to your clients? There's various ways um, how we utilize this data, um, not just from traffic patterns. I mean, we can actually um, now, nowadays what we call risk propensity models, where we can actually predict on what certain road segments, what type of vehicle at what time of day will have a higher risk of actually uh, having an accident versus some other oh. vehicles. Um, potholes is starting to play a bigger role as well, where we can start um, um, obviously monitoring these potholes. And again, via the deep learning models, we can actually start predicting what's the propensity that um, a vehicle will have an accident at a certain time of day, given, um, uh, as you can think, late afternoon when the sun is in your eyes, uh, you don't see the pothole and you hit it. 
But nowadays, we can actually start adding a lot of value. And even with um, when we do advanced planning op uh, optimization, you can actually, that those engines are clever enough now to reroute your vehicle um, and so not uh, using these high risk roads. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. And I imagine things like uh, you can start picking up, like you see so many traffic lights out of order, right? And you know that when the traffic lights are working at an intersection, that the traffic flow should behave in a certain way. You can automatically pick it up. And I guess with over trends, you can even do, you know, pick up things with uh, people who are, you know, trying to steal cables, for example, or that kind of thing. I mean, the technology is amazing with what you can actually do today. I see you partnering with Locus to future proof your clients fleet management. Now, tell us about Locus and what does Locus do? So Locus um, created advanced optimization and uh, routing algorithms, which they then created some software packages of, which obviously then has multiple use cases, uh, which of uh, one we utilize is obviously for your last mile deliveries, uh, which you see quite a lot nowadays. I mean, with, with all the um, motorbikes going up and down. So, um, and this software then obviously helps you to drive your efficiencies, drive down your costs by actually saving time and money and obviously give you real-time feedback. Um, for instance, if you're going to be late, um, customers nowadays, I mean, you expect to click on the internet, buy and within 60 minutes you want to deliver at your door. Now, this type of software engines uh, together with the machine learning uh, and artificial engines behind it, then obviously it helps you to obviously determine the shortest route, fastest way uh, to get it to your customer and make your customer happy. Okay, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great partnership and it's incredible to see the evolution of technology, right? I mean, 20 years ago, there weren't things like dash cams and I see that you, you've introduced dash cams uh, for some of your fleet businesses. I mean, this is quite new. Why are we seeing an uptake in this now? And, and I mean, what, what are the benefits that it yields uh, with a video footage? I imagine from an insurance point of view, uh, it's, it's, it's critical, right? Um, and seeing what's on the road ahead. I mean, the dash cams offer fantastic uh, value for you. Yes, there's, again, uh, a lot of different use cases you can utilize for. Obviously, there's benefits both for your driver, for a company, as well as your um, insurance operator. Um, because you, various things happen on a dash cam. We call it ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance. So in real time, um, the dash cam will actually warn you, for instance, if you fall asleep. It monitors your eye and it sees actually, okay, you're getting tired and actually sound the buzzer to, to wake you and, and so forth, obviously, prohibits and accidents. So it, it was shown that probably about 94% of, of all accidents on the roads is actually because of drivers. Um, so obviously the idea behind these cameras is, is obviously to help and assist the driver and therefore protecting your asset. Um, a lot of things that you can set on a camera, so you can, for instance, set for yourself, um, do you want to monitor seat belts? Do you want to monitor if the guy is smoking? Um, depending on whatever your company's criteria are. And then uh, obviously the biggest benefit behind that is that actually it's impossible to go in the real time monitor 5,000 cameras if that's the size of your fleet. So all of this is done again via machine learning um, and actually we call it exception management, where you only handle exceptions. And then it will drive, score your driver accordingly, according to your behavioral model that you selected and set up. And then it's very easy for you as a, as a user to go back, see which drivers are your worst performing drivers and actually um, train them or, or do something else to obviously ensure that you bring your risk down in your fleet. Um, it also will go even further and depending again on your setup, uh, warn you of vehicles that crosses lane in front of you and basically um, anything that might concur, right, like pedestrians that you don't see um, will give you a warning. So, and, and therefore protecting you as well as obviously your asset. That is so interesting. I see that you're using iDrive. Um, and you're able to track driver behavior, which is what we've been talking about. That must be amazing because the moment you start tracking behavior, uh, behavior improves, right? And ultimately, you're making the roads safer. Tell us a little bit more about iDrive. 
So we, we decided that obviously we had various criteria and that one of the main reasons we decided to partner with R-Drive is um, facial recognition. So they one of the companies which has the most success with facial recognition and you can imagine with a large fleet if you get in a vehicle one of the biggest things that that you always struggle with is identification of the driver behind that that steering wheel so a tax doesn't suffice anymore because i, mean, I can give my tag to you um, i can leave it at home but your face cannot lie so if you get in uh, the cab, it's uh, crucial that obviously it recognizes your face and then obviously do the driver scoring uh, on the edge. So basically the camera will do it for you. It doesn't go back to a cloud setup. <clears throat> and therefore you have real time sort of warnings and uh, updates on your driver behavior. So that gives you the ability to obviously go back to your insurance. And as you see your, your fleet, you drive down certain behaviors, you can obviously renegotiate with your insurance. And then uh, again, the, the biggest thing is probably prevention of accidents. Uh, due to fatigue and um, overworked uh, personnel. Wow. Uh, technology is quite extraordinary, uh, what it's doing and how it's helping fleets. In closing, Quibus, I mean, uh, Tracker is certainly embracing these new technologies. Uh, you're implementing it, and the fleet business clearly is really, really big. I mean, what do you see and what do you predict uh, for technology and fleet management trends going forward? The biggest thing which I would think in, in, in the market is that basically if you're not solution driven and orientated um, and you, you, you must go beyond just rendering uh, telematic service, you must integrate with other systems upstream and downstream and you must ensure that the telematics data is enabler for you to obviously optimize your business. Uh, in whichever way you, you want to utilize it. And then obviously there's a lot of systems like we mentioned with Locus and with R-Drive, which obviously enhances your driving behavior. And all of this is done via telematics data. We live in an age where there is too much info, um, even video nowadays. So you, the rule is you have to manage by exception. And then obviously you have to plan properly, execute properly, so that you can manage by, by exception and then therefore improve your um, business turnaround. Fascinating insights. Uh, Quibus, uh, it, it's so great to catch up with you and hear what Tracker is doing in the fleet business and how technology is evolving, how you're embracing it. It's absolutely fascinating. And I imagine that we will have this conversation in a year or two from now and there'll be even more technologies. I mean, we haven't even uh, touched on the impact that 5G will have and the, the speed at which data is moving, which is already available. But I guess when it becomes, you know, even more embedded across the country and connectivity, and it, it's really super exciting. At the end of the day, you're making the road safer. Quibus Fosaki, Executive for Business Solutions at Tracker South Africa. Thank you for sharing those insights with us. Thank you very much, Aki, for having Thank you. me.